every single suicide is different. None of them can relate to the other. And yes, traumatic brain injury, post-traumatic stress, the inability to recognize a problem that is not, that you can't control. The brain can tell you to do anything. It's what it does. So if it's out of control, it may not necessarily be the veteran's fault for doing what he was doing. It may be the, it may be the out they're looking for. And at a particular time of weakness, if you add in alcohol, if you add in drugs, if you add in depression, loneliness, um, the inability to cope with your new life. A lot of veterans come in out of high school, they're 18 years old. They've had their hand held the whole time to get in the military. It's like through a looking glass, an hourglass. You have this big, huge world that you enter into in the military. The big top part is the military. You learn so much, you learn so much, and it's refined, refined, refined. You know everything, and there's really nothing out of the ordinary. It's right down there in the neck. So everything's kind of small, compact. You see it as it is. Once you transition to the civilian world and you're not a kid anymore and there's nobody telling you how to walk, talk, what to dress, where to be, and that hourglass opens back up to this whole new world that you're a grown, per you're a grown man or woman now and nobody's there to take you by the hand like your mom and daddy did or the drill instructor did when you walked into the military, you're alone. And nobody's gonna stand there and give you a job. Nobody's gonna stand there and give you an answer. Nobody, nobody cares anymore. Honestly, nobody really cares anymore that you were in the service. And they're like, hey, look, they see the uniform, thank you for your service. But after that spec, like, hey, yeah, that's cool, appreciate you. I, I appreciate you what you did, but I ain't got nothing for you. Because your military service doesn't translate to what I need in my job or my career, my business that y'all could probably, that didn't, you know. So you're standing here with these kids that are grown ups now that still have no idea what it means to be relatively an adult on their own and function, buy clothes, buy cook on their own, just go out and find a job. And when you have the civilian population that doesn't really understand and can't relate to a, somebody who comes straight out, straight out of the military who's been there their whole life, that is a slippery slope. And that, 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 that will drag you down on top of an injury to the brain, on top, of, on top of having a drug or an alcohol problem. It is, uh, the complexities, I mean the fractures are, it's just incomprehensible. And if you, because of your injury, you're not mentally capable of recognizing it, yeah, the easy way out, probably the one that's pistol range. And you, that's why you see so much of it. Unless a lot of people are scared to say that or talk about that, it's just the plain, plain simple truth of it all. Um, there's, a, there's a problem out there, it's like, hey, look, we have all these, we have all these, these institutes and these facilities in place and these, these foundations that are trying to help these veterans, but we're still having these problems. Okay, at the end of the day, the veteran needs to recognize they have a problem and they better step up. Because it's not on everybody else to try to help, you gotta help yourself. Quit feeling sorry for yourself. You gotta go all in. And I tell everybody that I, 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 if, I, if I'm pointing somebody in a certain direction, they ask me for some advice, I'm like, hey buddy, hey sister, if I'm gonna send you here, if these people are gonna try to help you, you damn sure better go all in and realize it's gonna take you as well. This ain't somebody dragging you down the road with a rope. You gotta carry the load. It's your load, it's not theirs. Remember that. And you'd be surprised an eye-opening slap in the face like that is a, is, a, is, a, is a good thing. Quit feeling sorry for yourself and have everybody else feeling sorry for you. If, you're gonna, if you really need some help and you really want to get better, you got to want it. Don't walk in there and say, you fix me with your head down and they can't and like it's their fault. I'm unfixable. Nah, that's not how this works. This up here, you can course correct that once we recognize those problems. That's Morgan's opinion. This video was produced by Brainline thanks to generous support from the Infinite Hero Foundation.